So in the first part of Unit 3, we're going to look at the movement from the tribal structure of ancient Israel and their territories uh, that extend from Dan to Beersheba in the south. We're going to look at the emergence of Israel in the social, religious, and uh, cultural context of, again, what we call the end of the Late Bronze Era and into Iron Age I. Again, we, we mark the Bronze Age and Iron Age transition around 1200 BC, which is, puts us again right in the middle of the Judges material and rolling eventually over into Samuel. Uh, we, we date, you know, for example, approximately uh, the Ark narrative around 1050 BC, and then David's emergence as king around 1000 BC. So again, that perspective of the what we call the Iron One period 1200 to 1000 BC and the emergence of Israel uh, ultimately through the kingship of David uh, to become the dominant people group in the land of Canaan, the promised land. And so it takes again uh, several hundred years, depending on where you date the Exodus, for the Israelites to further fully emerge as the dominant people group in this promised land. So we talked briefly before about the cycle of Judges, and so that's where we begin. Uh, the Judges era, the tribal structure, and again, the tragedy of the book of Judges is that, uh, number one, Israel's continued lapsing over into idolatrous practices, worshiping Baal and Asherah, that continues, of course, into the kingdom period uh, when we get to particularly the uh, narratives of uh, Elijah. Uh, chapter 17 and following in 1 Kings. So we'll look at, again, the cyclical material of the book of Judges, uh, the emergence of Israel, but then also the latter part of the book of Judges, the gener generation uh, of the nation, uh, the Levite concubine incident, and just a, a hor horrendous picture of how Israel's uh, religious character has uh, degenerated so extensively and what almost ends up in the annihilation of the tribe of Benjamin in this uh, horrible incident that then rolls us over into uh, the beginning of, of uh, the book of Samuel and the raising up of Samuel in contrast to the decline of the character of leadership under Eli uh, the high priest and his sons Hophni, Phinehas and, and others in the leadership and that we will replace uh, again the priesthood with a non-Levite Samuel to lead the nation up until uh, the emergence of the kingdoms under Saul and Jonathan as described in the book of Samuel. So we'll look at this transition from the tribal to a unified nation under king leadership, first under Saul and then followed by David as described in the Samuel material.